You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. There's Those dead whales everywhere. So sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Okay, she can turn her head. I was wondering why she wasn't. Uh... Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. Uh. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. Oh my god, she doesn't know Rachel. The last time it's like I've never her. met her. Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. Oh you no! You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? Oh After man! After snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Do you think so? I uh, haven't kept up with the details. I have more time on my hands than you. Plus, I'm a science nerd. But none of this makes sense. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. <laughs> None taken. I would totally be okay. With this episode just being a giant movie. Lighthouse. There's still some significance there and I just can't figure it out or put it, put it together. I know it's what you look to when you're going through a storm or cloudy area and I can't quite figure out how it's significant oh, it's a pretty high-tech layer feels like a high-tech cell but I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me I know it's hard for them they're grateful you are here with them right Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. 
Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Mm. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? You know what? We're getting her water straight up. Board, bathroom, bathroom. No. Look, joystick, bracelet, look, cup, cup, water. Drink up, buttercup. Oh man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Mm. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. Yep. about us as kids we all have different memories i think about us as little pirates running and jumping through arcadia bay me too but we're still pirates in our own way <laughs> yeah right check me out chloe of the caribbean no way will i get on a fucking boat now unless you're with me as you can see i can't keep all my other friends away You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Are they okay? I mean, are they still happy together and everything? So now you're Dr. Bill? I guess they're good, considering they have to deal with me. They laugh and hold hands. And I hope they still get busy too. Mm. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. Can they pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Oh my god. <laughs> You're priceless. Uh, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner. Yeah, Blade Runner. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. Let's color her hair. Incredible with blue hair. Let's color her Let's hair. Let's the show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Can we dye her hair? I want to dye her hair. That's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm going to dye her hair. Check that out her drip. That must be her mighty morphine machine. Mighty morphine machine. No more bongs for her. Nothing but medical supplies. She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. 
You missed a grain stuck in my eyeball. <laughs> Hard to believe how just a little sand can cause such a big mess. It's like that Chinese proverb a spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. You know, like the butterfly thing. <laughs> so I've heard. I'm having a hard time talking, guys. Like, this is so somber. There's the old Chloe. <laughs> Oops, makeup. Max, it is Kid. so cool that you're here again. I'm glad you think so. Is your joystick? That is so incredible. And she can browse cat videos. She can browse her. cat videos. Chloe is still a punk at heart. But she can't stage dive in. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. Quantum Leap, yes. Scott Bakula, I love him. <laughs> I don't know if it's on Hey, I'll take care of doing body work. Let me get back to you while you're building. Vigi gun Bakula. Ah, uh, Quantum Leap. That's classic. Whoa. I hear Chloe motorcycle. can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high tech help. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but. Yeah, fun. dude, let's do freaking makeup hair time. Totally down for this. Chloe's message board since the accident sure looks. Make a wish. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. Let's read this. Lori, you know we love you and you're in our hearts and thoughts. We hope to see your smiling face soon. Please be well. I wonder Thank who this you. is. Kind of a generic card. I'm so sorry for what happened. You know that I'm here for you. If you need anything, I hope you feel better and I hope to see you soon. Megan. Was that a name on the red binders? I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. I just thought I'd drop you a quick note to let you know I'm thinking about you. I feel so lame work writing shit like I hope you're well. I know your life is so different now and I don't want that to get in the way of our friendship. I guess I haven't been around lately, but that will change soon. I hope you are well. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. You're really my only friend who kept in touch. Mm. I should have kept more in touch. Snow globes are taking over. Uh oh. Oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. Okay. DVDs. Ah, oh, here's the DVD. Oh my god. I made that mix for her when we were 12. Pirate power, I love it. I wish I'd take that out and be like, let's listen to that real quick. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. Now we have a movie night. All right, I want to. Glad to see you as nosy as ever. That's a serious heat lamp. She knows I'm being nosy. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. Yeah. I'm glad I took this photo. Chloe has a new memory of William and her together. That's the one I took. Wow, sir. Chloe was a straight A student. She could have gone to and what a bastard. I totally should have let Chloe steal your bullshit fund, even if it wasn't another reality. Prince Williams, in sympathy with your numerous requests for Chloe's special needs in regards to her wheelchair and class accessibility, Blackwell prides itself on making sure students with the disabilities repeat full compliance under the Americans with Disabilities Act. However, given that the campus and buildings have all been constructed pre-1977 or school has not yet undergone the modern renovations necessary to fulfill all the needs of your daughters and her regrettable condition. Sadly, with recent deplorable federal cuts in education, it will take more 
many more fundraisers to fully update Blackwell Academy, but that will day will come. Chloe's without doubt an amazing student with great potential despite her handicap, and I believe she would find a more fitting, rewarding scho scholastic environment at the H. West Miskatonic, Miskatonic Institute in Bolton. They have a rich legacy of disabled graduates, and I know that Chloe would achieve her usual academic leadership in more comfortable surroundings. With her outstanding GPA, there's no doubt that whatever would welcome Chloe with open halls. A few will seriously consider the suggestions, I'm sure your daughter would prefer to attend a school that can cater to her many needs. In the same spirit, I also enclose brochures for other potential schools in the Oregon region. If you have any questions, please contact my office. Don't like that dude, man. Another drawer. Despite everything, they're still a happy family again. It's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating too. At least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. Oh man, she has to use that ventilator just to breathe. All right, let's watch us a movie. Blade Runner. If we both fall asleep. We both fell asleep. Oh, she's awake. believe you fell asleep so fast uh. how dare you i know you were beat down after the day with me and blade runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night uh, do you do you think deckard is a replicant sorry i can see you're not wide awake like me no i'm sorry i crashed so hard were you okay i do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me you are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, m my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? She addicted oh, to morphine. Is she addicted to morphine? Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. Oh, please don't be addicted to morphine. Hey, Max needs uh, her stuff. I don't this is, oh. They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. It's fucked up. That's terrible. So fucked up. Mm. 
don't even want to read Victoria's These text. whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. And the Prescott Foundation 